what's going on you guys Matthew here back with another video and today we are actually go going to Solenad but before Solenad we are actually going to Novali if there is no rain right now it is actually slightly raining the rain is a bit light but it may increase soon when we arrive at Novali and if it rains when we arrive at Novali we're just gonna go to Solenad instead but the reason why we want to go to Novali because in Novali there's actually an artificial lake in the artificial lake there are different koi and if you want you can also feed the koi you can buy some feeds in the valley and you can feed the koi or if you want you can also ride the boat around the artificial lake and see the koi but if there is going to be rain in the valley we're actually gonna move on to Solenad instead because um, the valley is an alfresco area and if it is going to rain there is no point in going there because well we'll have to bring an umbrella everywhere we go Solenad is also an, an, an alfresco area but they also have an, an area which is covered so you can just go around there until the rain ends but anyway we're actually still at the service road and it is actually already quite traffic in the service road and the rain right now is quite light but Hopefully it won't increase when we arrive at Novali and hopefully it will stop before we arrive at Novali. But anyway, I'm actually wearing this cap over here. As you can see, I bought this cap in Virginia when we went to the United States Marine Corps Museum, which is located in Virginia. When we went there, I bought this cap. I also bought this patch which says United States Marine Corps Aviation, as you can see. I bought this patch and I also bought this cap with it. I bought the cap and the patch separately. I think the cap and the patch was around $20. But anyway, we are now at the service road and it is quite traffic. But anyway, we are now on our way to Novali. I am actually using my uh, YouTube shirt, guys. As you can see, I got this YouTube shirt printed, which is YouTube, like, share, and subscribe. Then my two YouTube channels. My two YouTube channels are General Matthew Vlogs Productions, which is the YouTube channel you are watching right now. And my second YouTube channel is Matthew's Food Vlogs Productions. I upload around the same videos on both channels, but the last video I uploaded on Matthew's Food Vlogs Productions was around six months ago, so I am surely going to upload upload a video there very soon because the last time I uploaded a video there was around six months ago but I am using this shirt here I actually have two shirts uh, that are uh, that have this print on it the first one is this shirt that I'm wearing this color white and the second one is color gray but anyway the traffic is actually quite heavy but anyway we are now on our way to Novali and actually guys uh, Novali is actually located in Santa Rosa Laguna Solinan is also located in Santa Rosa Laguna they're actually just beside each other if you want you can just cross the street from the valley to Solenad so no problem because um, if we're in the valley we can just cross the street to Solenad if you wanted to they are just beside each other but anyway like what I said the valley is an alfresco area Solenad is also an, an alfresco area but they also have a covered area so we can stay there if the rain is going to continue or it will become harder but anyway guys, um, we're still at the service road still and the traffic is still very heavy. Okay guys, so we've been stuck at the service road for the past 15 to 20 minutes. As you can see, we have been stuck here for the past 15 to 20 minutes. Um, hopefully, um, when we arrive at Novali, the rain will already stop by that time. Because if the rain hasn't stopped yet, we'll have to go to Solenad instead. Because there's no point in going to Novali if it is just gonna rain. Because like what I said, Novali is an alfresco area. But anyway, we've been stuck at the service road for the past 15 to 20 minutes. And the rain just got slightly harder. Okay guys, so thankfully the rain already stopped. It is actually quite sunny right now. But anyway, we, we were lucky to get a parking spot here at Novali because um, the parking spot here at Novali is always quite full. But anyway, we are now heading to the artificial lake. Um, the, like what I said, they have a boat here where you can go around the artificial lake, but we won't be able to go there because we are only three and the boat capacity is 10. And there's a minimum amount of passengers to be able to ride the boat and we are only three but anyway we are now gonna go to the artificial lake to see the koi so for whatever reason guys there's not a lot of people actually in the valley like look at this it is out of my like dozens of times going here to the valley 
It is my first time that there is barely anybody here. Probably because um, it was raining a while ago and as you can see the floor is still wet and it's very muddy. Probably that's the reason why there's not a lot of people here but you can see there that is the boat right over there. It seats around 8 to 10 people and we are only 3 so we aren't able to ride the boat because there needs to be a minimum amount of people to ride. But anyway, oh here's the coys. Here's the coys guys. Okay guys, so I just confirmed but the boat seats 12 people and there has to be a minimum of 6 people before the boat leaves. So the boat seats 12 people and there's a minimum of 6 people. So at first we thought we weren't able to go but luckily there was someone who wanted to share with us so we are now riding, take, riding the boat right now. But anyway, we're still gonna wait for the boat to arrive. So we're now heading to the docks right over there. And like what I said, um, we're only three, but the minimum for the boat is six people. So the minimum is six people. And luckily someone wanted to share with us. But anyway, we are now heading to the docks and we're now gonna wait for the boat. Okay guys, so we are now waiting for our boat. We're just going to arrive at dock two. Okay, so the boat just docked. Okay guys, so we are now boarding um, the boat. So those are the people that wanted to share a boat with us. But anyway, uh, when you ride the boat, you'll have to ride a life vest, of course. Okay, so of course you'll have to wear a life vest. Okay guys, so we are now leaving. Okay guys, so I am now wearing my life vest and we just left the dock. Okay guys, so we just left the valley because the rain is actually quite hard right now and we had to make a run to the parking area because the rain was actually getting quite hard already. But anyway, we are now heading to Solenad and there are actually four Solenad, Solenad 1, Solenad 2, Solenad 3, and Solenad 4 and we are actually going to park on Solenad 3. Okay guys, so we've arrived now here at Solenad and we were actually very lucky to get a parking spot near the entrance. The entrance is right over there and we were able to get a parking spot that was quite close to the, park, to the entrance. But anyway, we are now going to head to Solenad and it's actually Solenad 3. Like what I said, there are four different Solenads. Solenad 1, 2, 3, and 4 and this is Solenad 4. So we actually parked our car right over there and the entrance is actually right over there so we were lucky to get a parking spot that was actually close to the entrance. Okay so now it's now focused guys but anyway we are now here at the dog shop actually and the reason why we're at, at here at the dog shop is we're actually finding some dog supplies and some dog food. Anyway we're just finding um we're actually thinking um, of bringing David to the malls, but we're gonna do that when David becomes a bit older. So we're actually planning to bring David to the malls, but we are going to do that when David gets a bit older. And when David gets a bit older, I will sure want to bring him in the malls. But anyway, we are now here at the dog shop, finding some dog supplies. 
Okay guys, so before we ate dinner, my dad decided to drink coffee at the coffee bean and tea leaf. And look where we are again. We are now here at pepper lunch and as usual, I'm going to order the beef pepper rice jumbo. I think I did a vlog in pepper lunch at least a dozen times already. If you've been following me for a long time, you'll know that Pepper Lunch is my favorite restaurant. It never gets old. I did a vlog here in Pepper Lunch at least a dozen times already. As usual, I ordered the beef pepper rice jumbo. And over here, you can actually see them make the beef pepper rice. So this is the beef pepper rice. This is the regular. I ordered the jumbo, but the beef pepper rice comes with corn, rice, and the beef itself. Okay guys, here is the beef pepper rice jumbo. As you can see, compared to the regular, it has a bit more beef and a bit more rice. And it is 80 pesos more expensive. As you can see in the center, that is their special margarine right over there. Anyway, you need to mix it and you're not supposed to cook the beef separately. Because if you do, the rice might burn. But anyway, like what I said, the jumbo has a bit more meat and a bit more rice and it costs an additional 80 Philippine pesos and there's actually three sizes the regular the upsize and the jumbo the regular is 215 Philippine pesos so the regular is 215 Philippine pesos the upsize is an additional 50 Philippine pesos and the jumbo is an additional 80 Philippine pesos the upsize is slightly smaller than the jumbo and you have to pay an additional 50 Philippine pesos. And the jumbo is slightly bigger, and you need to pay 80 Philippine pesos. And my dad also ordered the beef pepper rice jumbo. Okay guys, so I forgot to put the garlic sauce, so I put a bit of garlic sauce, and a bit of honey. Okay, then I mix them all together. the condiments they have the garlic sauce as you can see here they have the honey sauce they have pepper and they also have salt but I only put the garlic sauce and the honey sauce anyway I need to mix them and I need to wait this to cool down because this is very very hot and there's and they have their secret technology with their plate which keeps the food hot I actually added a bit of salt but I think I'm gonna add a bit more and I also added a bit of pepper, but I'll add a bit more. Okay, so now I'm gonna mix them and wait for this to cool down. Okay guys, so it has been 15 minutes. And we waited for 15 minutes just for this to cool down, but it is still smoking. But here's the beef pepper rice. Still smoking, you can see it. it's still smoking. And 
It's so hot, but it's like it's preventing you from eating the dish. But anyway, it's just amazing. Okay, guys, I am now so full. Wow, I'm so full, guys. The food tasted very good. It tasted absolutely amazing. I am now so full. I felt like my shirt got tighter. Okay, guys, but anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Don't forget, guys, to drop a big thumbs up for this video and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I will see you in the next video.